Hi, and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to split a page into quarters in two different ways. So I've just pulled up my default page here and I'm going to just increase these margins because I really want to maximize the space on my page. I want to make my margins a little smaller. So I'm going to go up to layout and along to margins, click on the drop down and go down to narrow and that will just expand my page a little bit more. Then I'm just going to turn this page around to landscape. So I'm going to go up to layout, orientation, landscape. Now you can do this in portrait as well, it's exactly the same technique. I'm just going to zoom in. Now the first technique is to go up to the insert tab, go along to table, click on the drop down and just select two by two. Now you can see that the cell heights aren't very tall and we've got to expand those so that they reach the bottom of our page. So if we select our table, we can do that in two ways. We can click on this square icon at the top here, or we can just grab our cursor, go to the bottom right cell, click and drag and select the whole of our table. Then if we go up to layout, down to height, and you can either use this up arrow here, just keep clicking on it, and it will expand the height of your rows, or you can just enter a figure. So if I go for 10 centimeters and press enter, that's too big. So go back up, I'm going to press nine, enter. And you can see we've produced another page here. So we can either just decrease the cell height here. Let's try 8.9. There we go. Or you can just pull out your margins. So you can just decrease your margins again. If you go over to the ruler, you may not be able to see your rulers. If you can't, go to view, and make sure that ruler's checked. Hover your cursor between the white and gray area and it will change to a double-headed arrow. Click, and then you can just drag it up and down. And that will mean that that second page will disappear. So we've now divided our page into four, but it depends on what you want in all of these cells, which will depend on how things will lie. And also you may or may not want to have these borders. So let's just enter a bit of text. And if I enter that text in the next cell, I'll just show you how you can customize all of this. So we've got all of this text and you might think, oh wow, the text is too close and it's too close to the lines and you just want to space things out a bit more. What you need to do is select your table once again, right click, go down to table properties, go to cell, go to options, and then where it says cell margins, just uncheck that checkbox there. And here you can change all the margins within your table cells. So let's say I put all of these to one centimeter just for the demonstration. Click OK. Click OK again. Now you can see this has adjusted the height of my cells as well. Now if this happens and you've got all of your text already in your table, what you need to do is either decrease those margins in the reverse way that we've just done, or you can reduce the size of your text. So if you just select your table and all of your text, go up to the Home tab, go along to this icon here that says Decrease Font Size, and just click that until your table then goes onto one page, which we now have here. Now you've got this scenario here where you've got this cell here which is a bit funny. So all we need to do is go to the bottom line here and as my cursor changes, grab that line and pull it all the way up. Zoom out. There we go. I'm just going to select my table again. Go to decrease font size one more time. There we go, and it's now all on one page. Now, this can take a bit of manipulating, but I'll show you how to do it, because this is going to happen to you. All these things will happen to everybody, and you'll think, what's happened now? How do I correct it? So in order to stretch these out again, so we take up the full page, again, hover your cursor to the bottom here, and wait for it to change, click, and drag down that bottom line. There we go. 
and that's as much as you can drag it out. So if I drag it down anymore, you can see I'm going to make an additional page. So drag it right down to the bottom until you haven't got that second page. Just move that up slightly. There we go. I just press the return key here. If that doesn't work, let's go back up to this page here. Let's just drag down that margin a little bit till we get rid of that page below. There we go. So in order to get this to fill your page, sometimes you have to manipulate the margins. Sometimes you have to pull them down at the bottom. And then once you've done that, you can see that this bottom row here is taller than this top row. And that's a really easy fix. Just select the table go up to layout and here it says distribute rows. Well, that should actually say is distribute rows equally. So if I click on that, you can now see that we've got our page into perfect quarters. If you want all the text to be centered, obviously click on the whole table or the cell that you want, doesn't matter. Again, go up to layout and then click center text or align to center and all of your text will be centered. If you don't want any of these lines around the outside or these borders, select your table, go to table design and go along to this section here. And in here you'll find borders. You click on the drop down, you can go down and select no borders. And there you'll have no borders. Now sometimes it's difficult to customize your page if you can't actually see where your cell borders are. So a quick fix to that is to go back up to borders, click on the drop down, and you can go down to this element here called view grid lines. Now all this is is a guide. This won't print out and you won't be able to see it if you save it as a PDF. So click on it. What you can see is just this dotted line, dotted gray line that will go all the way around your cells. There's nothing actually there. There's no border lines. It's just a guide. Once you've finished customizing your document, you just simply go back up to borders, uncheck view grid lines and they'll disappear. So for example, if I wanted to put in a picture, let's say I want to get rid of this text, so just select it, press delete. If I go to insert and then go to pictures, I'm going to select from the stock images in the software, but you can select from your files. So I'm just going to select this image here, click insert. Now often when an image is inserted, it goes absolutely crazy and people start wondering how on earth am I going to correct that but it's so easy don't panic just make sure it's selected make sure your image is selected right click on it go down to wrap text and go down to in front of text and then all you need to do is move the image resize it by hovering your cursor over these squares in the corners or the sides reduce the size of it and then just move it to where you want it within your cell. You can do the, exactly the same with shapes or graphs or flowcharts or anything like that. You just enter them in, make sure you use the wrap text elements here because they're incredibly useful. And this is one of the main things that people say to me, they can't move things around in their document. It's if you put it in front of the text, then you can simply move it anywhere in your document. So that's one way you can divide your page into quarters. The second way, let's just get rid of this, delete, is to use text boxes. So if I click insert, text box, click on the drop down, select draw text box, and then simply click and drag out a text box. Now if I click away from this text box, you can see it comes with a black border. Now, once again, we can take these black borders off, but all we're going to do is to make four of these text boxes. So select it. You can copy and paste it by hitting Command or Control C, click away from it, Command or Control V, or select it, hit your Alt or Option key. Your cursor will change. Click and drag, and then click away click back on, Alt key, click and drag. So as you can see, they're not lined up properly at the moment. So all we're going to do 
we're going to try and nudge them on top of each other there and once again here and once again here. Now they're not perfectly lined up because sometimes words can be a bit clunky. They're sort of lined up now but to just check that they are if we just select this one hold the command or control key down select this one go to shape format along to align click on the drop down and select align to top that means they're perfectly aligned up along the top then once again click on this one hold the command or control key down and select this one go to shape format align click on the drop down and select align to bottom and they'll be perfectly aligned up along the bottom here now what we're going to do is with these two selected we're going to turn them into a group so make sure they're selected just the two at the bottom go to shape format go to group click on the drop down and select group now these two are one element do the same with the ones at the top click on the top left or top right hold the command or control key down and select the other one go to shape format group click on the drop down and select group now once again you can move them anywhere you like so now we're just going to align these two groups so click on the bottom one then move it to the top one here just onto the line you can see they're not quite level so hold the command or control key down and click on the top one go to shape format go to align click on the drop down select align to left and you can see now they're perfectly lined up here now you can see they're slightly lined up they're lined up here but they're not quite lined up here so let's ungroup them and then I think this it might be the bottom one here ungroup this bottom one because I think we've got to move this bottom one here so I'm just going to use my arrow key to move that one there we go just click off there you go we just had to nudge this one over slightly so now we've got everything lined up we can go ahead and enter whatever text we like in this text box so let's just enter some random text and you can do exactly the same as we did before if you want to customize your margins click on the text box go to shape format go along to format pane go along to this icon here click layout and properties and then you've got left margin right margin top and bottom and in the same way if we put one just one centimeter in each of these press enter now you can see the text has disappeared at the bottom you can stretch this box out but it will mean that it's no longer longer a quarter of your page so once again we've got to select all the text so double click inside your text box so that your cursor is showing press command or control a go to the home tab and reduce the size of your font here there we go can increase it so it's 11 and then you can place this text wherever you want inside your text box just select it go to shape format and the format pane dialog box here and then go to this icon once again where we've just done the margins if you go to this vertical alignment click on the drop down and then you can select top middle or bottom there we go and if you want to center the text go to the home tab and click center text and in the same way you can pop a photograph or an image in this one double click inside click insert picture picture from stock select the picture click insert and there you go it's inserted into the box now if we click away we can see all of the text boxes have borders if you want to get rid of them go to shape format go along to shape outline click on the drop down and select no outline and then once that's done you only need to click on the box make sure you're on shape format and just click this you don't have to click on the drop down because it's already selected no outline just go to all four boxes and there you go 
Now, unfortunately, this one doesn't have the option to have guides, so you can't see your text boxes until you actually physically click on them. Now, the advantages of using text boxes is that you can create quite a lot of effects with them. So if you click on it, go to Shape Format, go along to Format Pane, you can actually use all of these menus here to change the look of your box. So, for example, I can go to Fill, I can use a gradient, I can go to Line, I can put a line around the outside, I can make that line really thick. Let's choose Width, press 10, so I can have a really thick line around the outside of it. I can change the colour inside to a solid fill, click on the drop down, let's select Red. You can also select a picture or a pattern fill. There's lots of patterns you can choose from and then change the colour. So you really have lots and lots of different options with these text boxes, which you wouldn't have if you used a table. But it really depends on how you want to break up your page and what sort of information you're placing in each quarter. So I hope that helps you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.